Have you ever been out on the trail and torn a valve stem? How about installed your tires on some new bead locks, but then realized you forgot to put a valve stem in? Even if you had some old tires that just had a leaking valve stem, I may have a product for you. In this video, we're gonna install and review the Colby valve stem. I'll put a link down in the description. It can be installed from the outside of the wheel without removing the tire, and you don't need any special tools to do it. By the end of this video, you will know whether the Colby valve is right for you. Check it out. This version is made for the standard .453 valve hole and requires no tools. I have a few different options depending on your needs. The permanent tire valve system is similar to the emergency valve stem but will require the use of a half inch socket to tighten down the nut. The ultimate tire valve system is just like the permanent but will come with a shorter lower profile stem and you will also need to use a 7 16 socket for this one. Lastly they have an XL valve stem that is designed for use on wheels that have the larger 5 8 hole typically found on some tractor and equipment tires. So we're out here in the garage. I went ahead and uh, broke down one of my kids' go-kart wheels. This is a tubeless wheel and tire, so it's gonna work. It's got the same standard size valve stem. And most people don't have a tire machine at their house, and even if you do, you know, it's a pain in the butt. You know, nobody likes to do, it's not the easiest thing to do, but. I've got the emergency valve stem, and the difference with this one is it has the wing nut attached, so you don't need any special tools. So this can be done without anything, a wrench, a socket, or anything, kind of, that's why they call it the emergency valve. This is gonna be, they claim this is 20 times stronger, and it's due to the fact that it's a solid piece of brass versus the standard rubber valve stem, where the whole piece is rubber. But here's how you put it on. All we got to do, make sure the hole's fairly clean. All right, one thing to note. You want to make sure this piece right here is clean and dry because you don't want this spinning as you're applying the wing nut. Sometimes if this piece has got any lubricant or it's wet or has oil on it, the whole thing will spin and it makes it more difficult to put this on. Also, all we want to do is this lip right here on the rubber piece you want it to be flat against the wheel just like this so as you can see this piece is completely flat up against the wheel and right here all this is going to do is this plunger the tapered brass piece is going to start sucking up into it and spreading out this rubber piece onto the hole and we just tighten it down. You can see that working its way in there as I'm tightening it. And all you got to do is turn this. You can see it starting to spin just a little bit. And this just needs to be sticking out enough to get your air chuck on it as long as it doesn't leak around this seal. Usually they say when the, this piece starts to spin, it's probably tight enough. I wish this product would have been around in my early days of off-roading. If it was, I just didn't ever hear about it. That is one of the main reasons I wanted to show everyone this. It's a great product that probably very few have ever heard of. I'm not sponsored by Colby Valve, and they didn't send this to me for free. I bought it because I thought it was worth having. It's a great product. To me, this is a must have for the toolbox of the side-by-side, -side, or Jeep, or ATV, whatever you find yourself riding in. It doesn't take up much space, and it could really get you out of a jam. It's very simple to use, and like I said, with this one, you didn't even need any special tools to install it. While we're on the tire topic, you should really check out this video right here. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that too. If you thought this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you love watching videos like this, please consider subscribing.